A grease pan can be a common item found in your kitchen, but it can also be seen within the walls of the Husky locker room as a symbol of motivation. I wanted to try to come up with a term that would better explain how to get to the hard areas. We talked about how to get numbers and bodies to the hard areas, and the only thing I could come up with was grease pan. I brought that here with the guys and said, hey, if we want to start to go score some more hard area goals, we got to get to the grease pan. So every grease pan goal that we get, we keep the puck and uh, put it in the pan. Though the pan does not travel with the team, I can assure you Brett Larson's squad hopes to return home with plenty of pucks etched with numbers. You got to be there if you want to you want to have a good net front presence or, or just win any any games in this league. I mean, there's a lot of goals that are scored around the net and, and that's the way it's going to going to be throughout this tournament, I think. Getting greasy in front, um, just getting pucks to the net and having bodies there. Um, I mean, it's playoff time and those are a lot of time. That's how you're going to score goals. So I think that's going to be a big key for us. We've been talking about that the second half of the year and we've been doing better. Uh, getting in front of the net and um, being less perimeter and more, um, I guess you could say, greasy in front of the net. How do you score greasy goals? Well, Yami Kronola has a few. Here's his recipe. We gotta beat those one-on-ones. We gotta get in front of the net. You know, even a, even a good goalie can't stop a grease pan goal. 